Ethiopian Airlines has grounded the rest of its fleet of brand new jetliners after yesterday's crash that killed all 157 people on board, including eight Americans. As Terry Okita reports, many victims work for the United Nations. Search crews recovered the black boxes from Ethiopian Flight 302 in a debris field near Ethiopia's capital. The new Boeing 737 MAX 8 jet was en route to Nairobi, Kenya, where some of the passengers were scheduled to attend a United Nations conference. Expressing our deepest condolences. At the UN meeting Monday, staff members observed a moment of silence to honor 19 colleagues who died. Eight Americans were among the victims of Sunday's crash. Passengers came from 35 countries. Canadian Mohammed Ali lost his sister Amina, who died with her five year old daughter. Everybody loved. She was friends with everyone. It's the second deadly crash involving a Boeing 737 MAX in less than five months. Last year, 189 people were killed when a Lion Air flight went down off the coast of Indonesia. Investigators will be looking into apparent similarities between the two incidents. In both, the pilots reported technical problems. The two planes appeared to struggle to gain altitude before making a steep nosedive and crashing less than 15 minutes after takeoff. A preliminary report on October's Lion Air crash finds that the pilots fought to control the plane when the automatic safety system malfunctioned. I uh, would not be reluctant to get on a 737 MAX, but I assure you the manufacturer is terribly uh, terribly concerned about this. Around 350 737 MAX jets are in service around the world. In the U.S., American, Southwest, and United Airlines fly more than 60 of the planes. None of the carriers has announced plans to ground them. Terry Okita, CBS News. Now, in addition to Ethiopian Airlines, China's aviation authorities, as well as Indonesia and Cayman Airlines, have grounded their 737 MAX 8 jets. The FAA has not taken any action at this point.